Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a... It's kind of going to be like a what I eat in a day, but I'm already starting this video kind of late, but it's also going to be a fitness vlog, and it's also going to be how I plan in my to-do list because you guys ask that all the time, and I thought I'd show you guys that tonight when I go in to plan my day tomorrow because I have a very busy day tomorrow, so tomorrow would be a really good day to show you guys in my agenda how I plan. But right now it's 11.08, so like I said, I'm getting a late start to vlogging. I woke up at 7 this morning, and I've just been working since I woke up, um, but I have Pilates at 11.30 with Katie, and uh, so I'll film that a little bit, and then I teach tonight at 6. Today's Tuesday, by the way, so my Mondays and Tuesdays are very similar because I have like the whole morning to myself, and then I teach at night, so it's pretty similar. So I'm going to show you guys like kind of what I'm eating and also my to-do list right now I have to go because I'm gonna be late to Pilates if I don't go But let me show you really quick what I'm wearing Um, I don't love it, but I mean it's just Katie and you can be ugly when you go do Pilates with Katie because it's Katie so My oh my god, I literally look so rough today My sweatshirt is just a cropped and my mirror is really really dirty. It's just a cropped sweatshirt This is I don't know who this is from someone sent it to stride <laughs> and I've been wearing it like they made it for me and they sent it to stride so I wear it and then my pants are slinky I really like these pants I mean they really just make the booty pop like always they're like the booty pants but I like these a lot because they just like suck everything in and cinch you in but I will say I do not wear them for spin because they give you the worst camel toe ever I need socks do you guys have like good socks and bad socks because I do I have socks that I'm like I'll wear these when like I can take them off and then I have good socks where I'm like I'll wear these that I can just wear and keep on I can't be alone in that okay I am gonna head to the studio cuz if I don't go now I'm gonna be late so I'll see you guys when we get there look who I ran into you just got out of Pilates I did you loved it I loved it death by Sarah yeah death by Sarah. Hey. <laughs> when I walk in Katie goes so I have something new that we're gonna try I haven't tried it yet on myself so we're gonna wait do you have a playlist made I didn't make a playlist. Can I put my music on? Yeah, go for it. Ooh. We like that? Yes, we do. Okay. Isolation, we're gonna hold it. Okay, so like normally I just pull them up like really high spin, like this high. And when I stand yeah. apart like this. Yeah, you're fine. fine. Uh oh. Like this theme uh -oh. goes, goes right. right up. Pulse, 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 pulse. I don't have the coordination for that. That's the whole point. <laughs> Katie's showing me what we're working up towards. We're working up towards the teaser. You bend starfish. Oh, you scoop, 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 scoop. All the way up. Then you can add arm circles in your direction. You can add fancy things to your legs. And then you can be down nice and slow. Drop the shoulders. Relax your jaw. Pretend like this is a choice. <laughs> I said that yesterday in class. I was like, you signed up for this shit. I literally will say to people, I'm like, they'll be sitting on their phone and I'm like, remember when you paid $18 to be here? Like, let's yeah. do something. You look great. 10 out of 10. Yeah? I love those glasses. I need a new one. These are the best glasses. I know. I think I'm going to order, like, like the entire thing with all of them. I think I have pretty much all of them. And these are honestly the only ones that I wear. I had all of them and then I scratched all of them. All right. Is that locked? Probably. Probably. Let me go set the alarm. I'll also delay the alarm because I'm parked outside. Oh, you're going back? back? Yeah, so you okay. check. You see if that is locked. Okay, so well, if it's not, I'll just get my thing. All right, love you. I'll love see you, you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Make good choices, look both ways. It's important. Okay, XO. Goodbye. Bye. That was such a good session, guys. It was seriously so much fun um i just love katie so i'm gonna leave her instagram down below and she is starting a youtube channel soon so when that's up i'll leave that down below as well but now i'm just gonna go home and eat and work and edit my vlog from yesterday and upload it for tomorrow okay i'm gonna go home bye all right let's make lunch before i continue because i am so hungry this is the salad that i make every day and it is so good. I pretty much eat the same salad every day, but it's, oh no, I'm out of mango. All right, so like I said, it's pretty much the same variation of the salad every day. So we're gonna do some spinach, kale, and romaine. My romaine's looking pretty tired. Pinto beans, 
for some protein. Spinach and kale also have a good amount of protein in them, but I'm just gonna finish off these beans actually. I'm gonna throw some walnuts on there. That's a salad. For the dressing, I normally do mango, but I finished off the mango this morning, so I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. So I'm gonna do chopped dates. These are just raw chopped dates. Some cashews, pineapple today, but I normally do mango, but they're in like the same family, so it'll taste good. And then a little bit of water. So I just put that in a blender, and then we're gonna blend that up. I'm very generous with this, I just, Pour it all over. Okay, I like the pineapple way more than mango, so I'm glad I did that. And then just mix it all around. It might sound weird, but it's sugar-free. Well, added sugar-free. Obviously, there's gonna be sugar in any fruit that you eat, but added sugar-free. And I really like this salad. I eat it every day. All right, I think I'm gonna put on The Bachelor while I eat this, and then I'm gonna get to work, so I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Let's get ready for class. I had like the biggest music rut. Music rut. It literally took me like almost an hour and a half to two hours to make my playlist today, which never happens. It always takes me like 45. An hour means that I'm really stuck, but it almost took me two hours today. I just really need some music, but I also my last video for music, and hopefully you guys came through. I didn't post the video yet, I posted it tomorrow, but when you guys watch this, this video was filmed a couple days ago. This is what I'm wearing, um, my shirt, I'm gonna tie it, but I don't wanna tie it in the car because I hate wearing like tied shirts in the car. They like hurt me, <laughs> they hurt my back, <laughs> so I'm just not going to, but like it's gonna look I just, I'm in a rut. I don't like my music today. I don't like my clothes. I just need to like, I need a spray tan, dude. That's seriously what it is. So anyway, when I have it tied, it's gonna look like this. So that's just much cuter than having it down. The shirt is from Ride. It's a studio in Southampton, Pennsylvania. My friend Katie Graham owns it. Oh my God, my sideburns are like, oh, I just don't like how I look right now, dude. I really just need a spray tan. And then I think I'll like myself again. Just venting now. I also, I started new birth control and like I hate new birth control because it really just messes with everything. Like my hormones, I bloat so much. I just go in waves where I like to hate how I look and like I'm just having one of those episodes right now. So it kind of sucks that's right before class, but it's also kind of good because I know I'm gonna feel better after class. The bra that I'm wearing is from Lululemon and my pants are also Lulu. These are the in movement pants and these are my favorite. Leggings, I used to love the fast and the free, but now I'm all about these. I think they're so much better. Say hi! Okay, teenager. <laughs> oh, he's shaking! Oh, wait, you're shaking him. I was like, that was so good. Just finished up teaching. Let's go say hi to Mia. Looking good! Thank you! Again! Wait, it's cold. Are you sweating? I know. This is not what I look like normally. At least we're kind of matching. Yeah, we actually are. But I'm not wearing a bra, so I have to like fan myself out. Love that. I, I need to go home and tan. I need to tan too. You look so tan! I'm like, this is the palest I've been in so long. You wanna come in and dress this class with me? I wanna film it. You wanna be hype man? Here we go. legit egg anyway I'm <laughs> headed home and I'm very hungry so I'm gonna eat before I shower um, and then I'm gonna shower and tan and glow up but I 
do feel so much better after spin. So I'm really, really glad that I had class tonight, that I had to teach. Because sometimes when I have my little episodes of I hate how I look, um, I just don't like my image, um, I tend to just sort of like sulk and cancel all my plans and just sit at home and do nothing. And then I just get kind of upset about my appearance and then I kind of go crazy. But when I get myself out of the house and make myself do something that I know is gonna make me feel better, like working out, I always do feel better. And I know it's hard to sometimes get to the gym when you just don't wanna go or when you feel unmotivated or when you have an episode that you don't like yourself or you don't like how you look. That's human. And I know I always try, I really always try to make it look like I don't have insecurities about the way that I look or, you know, my body sometimes, the way that I eat or anything like that, but I do and I'm human. And it's good to open up about it and it's good to know that there's a lot of reasons why you can feel a certain way. I'm glad that I worked out and felt better about myself. And now I'm gonna go home and I have a veggie burger. So I think I'm gonna have a veggie burger and avocado and I'm gonna roast up a bunch of vegetables and just have green beans and roasted vegetables. So I'm gonna keep my eyes on the road and I'll catch you guys when I get home. So this is what you guys have all been waiting for. I just showered and self-tanned and I'm getting ready for bed. So I'm gonna show you guys how I write my to-do list. Now this isn't gonna be like a really good setup because I honestly don't know how those bullet journal people do that setup with like the camera overhead and then both their hands in shot. Like I literally don't know how. So you're gonna get the general just so. Anyway, this is the planner that I use. I've used a bunch and I like this one the best. So this is the Day Designer Daily Edition. I need every single day to have its own page. So I really like this. And then in addition to my Day Designer, I also use a digital calendar on my phone, which I will show you why in a second. So this was today, that was yesterday. This is tomorrow. So every day, like I said, has its own day. And pretty much a day in the day designer just has like a top three priority, which I never really use. It has a quote, which is kind of cute. Um, and then over here, it has like the times of the day. So it starts at 5 a.m. and then ends at 9 p.m., which I think is a pretty good spread. Sometimes when I wake up really early, I write like a four up in here and then I just make my own. But this typically covers everything. Um, and then over here, you have a to-do list and I love this. It's nice and long, it gives you a ton of room and I sometimes will have to like make little more remarks in here. Up here you have do, dinner, don't forget in dollars. I don't really use these. If I ever do, I cross them out and I track like how much, um, how many swell bottles I drink in a day or how much water I drink. Um, but that's really the only thing. And when I was like counting calories and stuff, I would do like calories burned, calories, intake and then like net calories but I don't count my calories anymore so I don't really use these for um and then down here you have a note section I just like write down things that I need and then over here is just a daily gratitude I don't really use this but you can if you want so the first thing that I do oh also important to note is the pen I'm a pen freak and maybe some of you guys are too the precise v7 fine um a stride client actually got this for me because she swore by it and said it was her favorite pen and now I use it and I love it. So the first thing that I do is open up my phone and I go onto my calendar app. And I don't use Google Calendar, I use this one. I think it's like iCal, but if you guys wanna look for it on the app store to search calendars and it's that one. Um, I really like it because it syncs with a Google Calendar, so I just don't like the layout of Google Calendar. I like this one because I can color code everything and yeah, my days look really freaking busy and tomorrow I have a super busy day, so that's pretty good. Um, but I color code everything. So like purple is workouts, red is stride studio, pink is social life, green are like things that I have to do like bills and such. Um, 
This is a holiday. Uh, blue is to-do list. This is where I keep all of my things that can change day to day. I do not keep like my plans in a written down agenda because if I'm at like the hair salon and I wanna make an appointment for next time, I can just pull up my phone and have it here. Or if someone texts me and is like, hey, can I train with you tomorrow at 11? I can say, let me check my calendar. Yes, I'll train with you at 11. Let me just add you in real quick. So I always refer this to this. And even like each, this calendar too has a monthly spread. I never use it. I forget like it's, I don't even act like it's there um, because this is just useless to me. What I used to do in my old planner, and I kind of wish I did it this year, but I just wasn't consistent enough, is I would go in every day and just write down a highlight of the day. So I would say like what, was memorable about that day. And it's kind of fun to go back and look at it. It's like a journal. So yeah, I don't use that. I just use this. So I'm gonna do this in increments because like I said, I have a really bad setup. So what I do is I look at tomorrow and everything that's in here, I write down in my to-do list so that I can kind of see my day at a glance. And then after that, I'm gonna write down my to-do list and then I can kind of see when I have time to do my to-dos in between all of my scheduled tasks that I have to go to. So let me write this down and then um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so that is what this looks like and I kind of do this different every day. So sometimes I'll do blocks like today. I blocked my things out. Um, the other day I just did like kind of like cursive-y, cutesy stuff. I do it kind of different every day. As long as I know that this means that I'm busy from 9.30 to about 10, 15, 10, 20-ish, then I can understand it. And like from 11, I'm training Rachel and from 11 to 12. And then I have lunch with Lauren from 12.30 to about like 1.30. And then I'm meeting with Kira and just like stuff like that. So as, long as, so as long as I know that I'm busy and blocked off, that's all that works. So then I go into my to-do list and in my to-do list, I pretty much just write down things that I need to prepare for over here. So the only thing that I really need to prepare for this is I need to make a playlist for 9.30. Um, so I'm gonna write that down in my to-do list. Another thing that I do is I go into my notes and throughout the day I just write down to do things that I think of for the next day. Um, so I'll just go through my notes and then write down whatever I thought of to do that I had to do like tomorrow or Thursday or Friday. I always write down like do so and so on this day, do so and so on this day, da da da. So I always check my notes and then the last place that I checked for to do's is anything that I didn't get accomplished today that I need to do tomorrow. I'm also realistic. So tomorrow I'm gonna wake up at seven because I wanna make sure I get a good seven hours of sleep. I've really been prioritizing sleep lately and I'm noticing a huge difference. So I recommend everyone to do that as well. So I'm gonna be waking up at seven tomorrow because I'm getting to bed pretty late tonight, it's already 10.30. So I'm gonna wake up at seven and I also know that I teach it 9.30, which means that I have to make my playlist when I wake up and I have to leave my house at 8.45. So, and then I'm like, I only have like an hour here or so, and then I have like maybe two hours to work right here. So I'm realistic with my time. So ideally, I really only have like a four hour work day tomorrow. So I have to kind of fit my to-do list into four hours. So like I wanted to edit and upload this video tomorrow, but I'm not gonna be able to. So I'm gonna do it on Thursday because I'm busy tomorrow and I'm not gonna like stress myself out. A to-do list is not meant to stress you out, but meant to like help you get your shit together. So I'm gonna write down my to-dos from yesterday and my to-dos on my notes and my to-dos for over here and what I just think of when I write this out. So I'm gonna write down over here and then I'll go back to you. So my to-do list is written in and like I said, I only have a little bit of time to get things done. So I'm not gonna stress myself out with a super long to-do list. So that's pretty much it. And then if I have anything else that I just wanna write down, I'll write it, but I keep it simple. The simpler you keep your agenda and the more you don't put like too much work in it to where it feels like work every time you go to like write out to-do list, the more you're gonna stick to it. And I found this is some really works for me, a good mix of digital to have with me on the go and hard copy because things aren't official until I write them down. And I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. I just got out of the shower, like I said. I'm gonna head off to bed. It's like 10.30, it's pretty late. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. I hope this helped you guys out. And um, I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.